Another reason many people gave for why science is important is its role in helping humanity in a different way, through medicine. It was scientists who really worked out and realised in the 19th century uh, that uh, germs cause infectious diseases. Before the germ theory, there was no scientific basis uh, for sanitation and hygiene, for example, separating drinking water from sewage. In the 20th century, it was uh, scientific observation that led to the eventual development of antibiotics. Unlike polio and smallpox, we don't yet have a vaccine against HIV. That's what my lab is working on at the moment, amongst many others, but it's a much tougher nut to crack, probably because we don't understand enough about the science of HIV infection and how it infects the body. But science must pervade medicine all the way through. This is one of the most important locations in the history of science, the Sanger Institute near Cambridge. It was here that the Human Genome Project was largely completed, and today it's at the forefront of cutting-edge medical research. I met with Gillian Dalglish, who studies the DNA of cancer cells. I think it's really important to have a, an evidence-based medical research approach to the development of new treatments for cancer. We have to start off with a hypothesis and test that through experimentation and build on our previous knowledge and that of others. Science research is based on peer review, which means if you come up with an idea and you test that idea, then other scientists can say whether they agree or disagree. And hopefully through that process, we can come up with really effective, safe treatments and also to just give a basic understanding of what cancer is and how we can tackle it best.